Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is AWG, so let's get started. AWG stands for Arrayed Waveguide Greetings. AWG is mostly used as multiplexers and demultiplexers in WDM fiber systems. The function of a multiplexer is to combine different wavelengths, which means different colors of optical signals from different fibers into one single fiber, as shown in this picture. The input is a ribbon fiber, which is a bunch of individual fibers bonded in a ribbon. Each fiber carries a different wavelength of light, such as red in one fiber, blue in another, yellow in another fiber, etc. These different colored lights are combined by the AWG, which is packaged in the box, into a single fiber. This single fiber then carries the signals along a long distance to the far end. This significantly saves fiber cost and increases the capacity of the communication system. In the far end receiving side, the different colored lights need to be separated again into different fibers for signal processing. This is when a demultiplexer comes to play. A demultiplexer is actually a multiplexer used in the reverse direction. Different colored lights come in a single fiber and enters from the right side. These different colored lights are then separated by the AWG into different fibers in the ribbon. Red goes to fiber 1, blue goes to fiber 2, and so on. So now you know what is a multiplexer and a demultiplexer, and the role that AWG plays. Now let's get inside the package and see exactly how a AWG works to separate and combine different colored lights. A AWG is made of five parts. These five parts are all made on a silica chip. The first part is input waveguide, light that includes many channels, such as 16 channels or 32 channels, gets in from the input waveguide. The second part is a free propagation region. This is the buck area where lights get freely dispersed and diffracted. The third part is the arrayed waveguides. There is a fixed length difference between neighboring waveguides in such a way that waveguide 1 is delta L longer than waveguide 2, waveguide 2 is delta L longer than waveguide 3, and so on. The fourth part is another free propagation region where light gets freely dispersed and diffracted again. And the last part, the fifth part, is output waveguides, where each color goes to a different waveguide. Dark blue goes to 1, light blue goes to 2, green goes to 3, and so on. Now let's see how these parts all work together to separate the colors. The incoming light, which includes many channels, gets in from the input waveguide. Then it enters the free propagation region. Here is light diffraction happens. Each channel, which means each color, are separated into many copies. So each waveguide in the array has a copy of every color. Then in the third part, the arrayed waveguides, each copy gets a different phase delay since they are traveling different length of paths. Then in the fourth part, each copy is diffracted again and are separated into many copies themselves as shown here. So now at the input edge of the output waveguides, the same color copies are having an interference. Now remember, each copy has a different phase delay. So there is only one interference that is constructive. So all signal powers for this color get focused here. This is more clearly shown in the right side picture. All other output waveguides also get interference for this particular color, but they are auto phase, so no signal power actually gets coupled into them. Since each color has a different wavelength, the phase delays are different from color to color in the arrayed waveguides. So each color has a different constructive interference spot. That is, dark blue color gets constructive interference on part 1 in the output waveguide. Light blue color gets constructive interference on part 2. Green color gets constructive interference on part 3, and so on. This is how AWG works as a demultiplexer to separate different colored lights into their own individual fiber. A multiplexer works in the same principle, 
Only this time, it is working in a reversed way. So there you have it. Please leave your comment below if you'd like to see other topics. Don't forget to visit foforsale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.